So this question says a rectangle is inscribed in a circle. So the very fact that the question starts off by describing something that can be drawn, I'm gonna use the strategy plug in picture and actually draw it, right? So I'm gonna draw a circle. It doesn't matter how perfect the circle looks. I'm gonna have a rectangle inscribed in that circle. So there's my rectangle where I know that these two sides are congruent to each other and these two sides are congruent to each other because it's a rectangle. So a rectangle is inscribed in a circle such that each vertex of the rectangle lies on the circumference of the circle like we have. The diagonal of the rectangle is twice the length of the shortest side of the rectangle. Okay, so if I call the shortest side of the rectangle side X, then that means that my diagonal is 2X, right? It's two times the length of the shortest side of the rectangle. The next sentence says the area of the rectangle is 1089 square root three. Well, how do I find the area of a rectangle? I find the area by multiplying the base times the height, right? In this case, X is my height. So I find the area by saying base times height. In this case, I don't know what the base time, I don't know what the base is yet. I know my height is X, and I know this is equal to 1089 square root three. Let's see what my base would be. Well, I notice also that by drawing a diagonal in this, in this rectangle, I'm creating a right triangle. This right triangle, which I'll just draw separately over here, what do I know about it? I know that the hypotenuse is 2X. I know that the short side is X. And actually, that tells me that the long side here is X root 3. Because this must be a 30, 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Now, how did I know that? Well, one, I'm always looking to see if the right triangles in my questions are special right triangles. The special right triangles that are provided for us in the reference information are the 30, 60, 90. The 45, oops, I wrote 44, 45, 45, 90 right triangle. You should also be aware of a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. This is for side lengths. These are for um, angle degree measurements. So when I see the X and the 2X here, I recall from my reference information, and you can check that out in your, on your own, that there is... Like that is the ratio of sides that we see in a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. The side opposite of 30 is X. The side opposite of 60 is X root three. And the hypotenuse is two X, right? So that's just giving you a, some insight on how I knew that this would be X root three right here. So that means my base is X root three, right? So I'm not gonna use B for X. I'm not gonna use B here anymore. I'm gonna use X root three. So I'm gonna say area is equal to the base, which is x root 3, times the height, which is x, which we know is equal to 1089 root 3. I can simplify this into x squared root 3 equals 1089 root 3. I can then, in my effort to solve for x, which I think is what I'm solving for, let me just keep reading and make sure. What is the length? What is the length in units of the diameter of the circle. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to I'm trying to solve for 2x, right? So I need to find out what x is. So in my effort to figure out what x is, I'm going to isolate x by dividing by square root 3 on both sides. My square root 3s cancel out on both sides. I'm going to go up here for more space. I'm left with x squared equals 1089. I'm going to then take the square root of 1089 go to my calculator and see what I get from square rooting 1089. I get 33, so x is equal to 33. But of course, I don't want x. I want the diameter of the circle, which is 2x. So that's why I'm gonna say, well, two times x is 66. So my final answer here is 66.